I had a vision in which I saw two of my favorite dancehall MCs of all time. Skinny and Winterfresh. And as soon as I opened my eyes, this message popped in my head. The government of Jamaica, the people of Jamaica, the entertainment players of Jamaica, have we forgotten the importance of the music in our culture? When I was a young man growing up, young boy growing up, right? Music was the only escape for the people. The music and the Bible was the only escape for the people. Don't matter what we had going on in life, music was the escape. Back then, every dance used to run. It wasn't about who was wearing what, who was drinking what, and who was driving what. That wasn't the concern. Everyone was going to the event to relieve to de stress. But then you go in Ireland, 500 people in Ireland, 800 people outside. Then can't afford the people go inside, but they're still there the dance at all the vibe. The jerk man make money. The peanut man make money. The weed man make money. The wrigglies man make money. The crown anchor man make money. And little you, like myself and my friends, whose parents did not really have it to do shopping in advance. For red peas and chicken for Sunday morning. We used to pick up the bottles on Sunday morning. Mummy guarantee a pound of chicken and a parcel of red peas to cook food. The value of the music is gone. No, the music does not contribute much to the well being of the people. The music is doing more damage than good right now. Tell me how a government can restrict a sector that is offering so much to the people. It offers peace. It's an economic booster. I've been to Jamaica at least five times, six times since the coronavirus pandemic has started. And no entertainment um, uh, department in any of the hotels has been shut down. But the entertainment sector in the entire country shut down, I don't get it. And we keep quiet about these things. But I bet say, if I don't get shot from the corner roadblock, you don't have to understand what is contributing to the people's well-being, to the country's well-being, to the country's image on an international level. Music! And again, I am a living testament. I remember the days when I had to go to the dance hall from early, six, seven years old, and beg a crate to go pick up buckle. And when the crate full one time, I go hide a set of buckle and go full it again and kill the promoter. That's how we used to make sure the family get fed. You cannot tell me that there are no more kids, no more young boys like myself and my friends in Jamaica. They are there, but the system is not catered to them no more. And we not talk. 